How's it going everybody? This is Chris from the Summary Software Team. And in today's video, I'm going to be introducing you to Recon Imager's brand new Logical Imager interface. Now in the latest version of Recon Imager, we have made a significant number of improvements to the Logical Imager interface. Now this is mainly going to be noticeable in the live version of Recon Imager that is accessible from the latest version of Recon ITR, as well as Recon Imager Mode M and Recon Imager Mode D. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the live version. So we're going to go ahead and launch the latest version of Recon ITR and simply select the Recon Imager button and it should load us into the Recon Imager interface. And across the very top, we should have a tab for Logical Imager, which we are going to go ahead and select. In this case, we're going to select this tab right here for Logical Imager. And this is going to bring us to this screen right here. So we can then select our source in this drop down right here. In my case, it's going to be the data partition of my live system. And if this were a real case, then I can go ahead and fill out my case information right here. And once all of that is well and configured, we can go ahead and hit select in order to continue to the new interface. So as you guys can see, it looks quite a bit different from the previous times that you may have seen it. We have a couple of new tabs here that we're going to go ahead and break down one by one. So the first section that we have here is going to be the file system view. So right in the middle, we're going to have an actual file system tree where we can navigate down through the file system in order to find specific directories of interest. So we will have a number of additional features as well as seeing different artifacts on the side here. So we can see the file name, the path, the size, as well as some timestamps and the MIME type of the file. And on the left side here, we are going to have different artifacts. So these artifacts are going to be paths that we know contain data relevant to these specific artifacts. So by selecting these checkboxes, you are basically telling Recon Imager to go ahead and grab any artifacts that are associated with these plugins and automatically add them into your image. So you can simply select whichever plugins you are most interested in, navigate through the file system here on the middle pane, and then add those files with the add to bucket feature right here. And additionally, if there are multiple users on the system and you are simply interested in adding their home folder, you can simply navigate up to the users list and hit the checkbox right here and navigate back down to add users home to bucket. So this will go ahead and add the home directory to our imaging bucket. Now the next tab that we have access to is going to be the file search tab. So we can go ahead and select the file search tab to see something that is brand new to the logical imager interface. And this is going to be the ability to search for files within the file system. So we can see that right here we have the ability to search for file names. Uh, in this case, we can actually use this to search for extensions as well. So for demonstration purposes, I'm simply going to search for .docx files, a very common document file. And we also have the ability to search with hash sets as well. So by selecting this button, we can import SQLite and CSV hash sets into Recon Imager so that we can search for files that match that hash set. Now we also have the ability to determine our source directory. So we can go ahead and navigate to say our user's home folder where most of our relevant artifacts are going to be stored. And then we can simply choose the choose option right here in order to populate the source path. After that, we can just go ahead and hit the search button and Recon Imager will automatically begin searching through that source directory to find files that meet our criteria. Now we can see that we get a whole bunch of records here that all have the keyword hit dot doc x. And then we have the ability to select each one of these as well. We can see some additional information off here on the right hand side about that particular file. And then after that, we can also add these files to our bucket. So we can either add them one by one and we will see that we have successfully added it to our bucket or we can simply hit the add all to bucket in order to add all of our keyword search hits over to our imaging bucket. Now, once we have all of our bucket fully configured and we have all of the files that we would like to image added into it, we can simply navigate over to the imaging bucket tab for our final steps. And 
here in the middle, we can see all of the different files that we have added into our bucket. Now, the next thing that we have to do is go ahead and configure our actual image properties. So the first thing that we wanna do in order to conclude this portion of it is we need to select our destination device. So for this example, I'm just gonna go ahead and choose my recon imager data partition. We also have the ability to select specific directories inside of our destination device if needed. Now, after that, we go ahead and choose our image type. For the logical images, we're going to be looking at sparse images, folders, and DMG RWs. And after that, we can go ahead and choose our image name. And once we have that all figured out, we can go ahead and even calculate the size if we'd like to see the approximate size of our data set and our resulting images. And then finally, we have the hash options down here below. The source hash options are going to give us a hash of the files as they exist on the system, while the destination hash options are going to give us a hash of the files inside of the image, and the destination image hash is going to give us a post acquisition hash so that we have a good starting point for our investigation. And once we have all of that configured, we can simply select the start button in order to go ahead and kick off the imaging process. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to the introduction of the new and improved Recon Imager Logical Imager interface. If you guys have any questions about anything that I've covered in this video, please feel free to reach out to a member of our team and we'd be more than happy to assist. I'd also encourage you guys to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. And once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day.